here. Uh, this is Debbie's Dear's Demo Day, and we're going to hopefully do several demos this week. We're going to work on, and you see the picture up on the blog, but I'm going to show you how to use, do some mommy and me crafts, or any adult with a child, or children, great for classrooms. We're going to make a frame. This is a canvas frame and bottle tops and use your scrap papers and your photos that are really too tiny to see anything. I'm just going to show you several techniques that I did and we'll see how many we can get in before the bell rings. Okay. This particular canvas came from AC Moore's but you can get them in a lot of different stores. Like I said it is canvas but what I'm going to do instead of trying to paint it, ink it, whatever, I'm just, I have my Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and what's good if, if you get any little splurts and splitters it absorbs into here, so you don't have to uh, worry about them showing that. Okay. I've got this nice little pumpkin spice that I got at CHA. Just some simple techniques. Um, here is a bottle cap that I've actually taken my paper piercer. This one right here. From Making Memories. <laughs> now I lost my hammer, so I actually used the edge of the crocodile because it's very sturdy. And I just poked a hole in to the uh, bottle caps. Now before I put anything in it, I have this little palette that I actually got from a class with Tim Holtz about a year and a half ago. All I did was put some uh, alcohol inks in here, let them dry out, and they're dry. I keep them, I throw them in a drawer, and when I need those particular colors, I'll just pull it out and use my handy dandy alcohol blending solution, and I'll just put a drop or two in. So I have some orange here, and I'm just going to drop once or twice. You can use a nib. They're out by Ranger. You can get them at Michael's and Moore's. But I have here a very small um, brush, paintbrush. So I'm just going to swoosh it up and get my paintbrush on there. And actually, you probably don't need to even paint. This just gives you detail, but I'm going to just cover it right here with orange. Give it a little uh, Halloween fall color. This would be really good for fall to, to decorate or to give as a gift to somebody. That's what the Christmas one is for at my house. So if anyone in my family is watching, you don't know who's going to get it, but someone is going to get it. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. Yay. I think I've got what I want. And it's going to look a little distressed, but that's cool. That's what I wanted. And it dries that quickly. And this will dry out very fast. Also, you can buy these little palettes at any uh, craft store. I think they're a dollar or something like that. Well, like I said, I put holes in here. Your alcohol ink is pretty dry. It's a little tacky. But what I'm so in goes my brads. One. And of course, they go rolling away, don't they? Ah, here they are. Two. And you could put something under the brad, a little piece of paper, a little anything. But this is just to add a little embellishment. Now I would open those up, but we're going to save some time here. So I just got, I just have some alcohol ink with a few brads on it. And that's one, one of our little pieces. Another piece, I have actually two of them, is that I have some little Davis stamps. And I actually put them on there to make sure they would fit, so I'm just going to put it on my piece here. I'm going to use my Jet Black um, Stays On Ink, because this is metal. It's a non-solvent, yeah, and it doesn't absorb, so I can't use my others because they will not dry fast enough and sturdy enough. So this will. Be careful that you don't slide it around anyway. You slide it around, and it's not going to be pretty. But I found out something in making my first one. This uh, alcohol ink solution will take stays on off of the bottle caps. So if you make a mistake, you can clean that one up. I don't know how well it works for other things, but it works for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do another bottle cap. I've got a spider. The first one was a pumpkin. And actually you can use, uh, stays on has a nice pretty uh, orange that you can use. And you can do your pumpkin with that. Uh, set this aside. We have this stays on who dries very fast. Again, that's what your stays on looks like. There you go. Okay, moving it out of the way. And we're going to just take, I have some orange and some black stickles. 
Now, I'm going to tell you the stickles that I used on my this one right here was actually stickles, and I didn't realize it, by Susie Weisberg. Um, Susie's stickles, the top of them, the hole in the top is actually smaller than the ones um, that are put, they're, they're all put out by Ranger, but the regular stickles. Okay, I think that I'm going to put orange, or if you had yellow, I didn't even look at that. Oh, I see a yellow. Um, let's do the orange on the pumpkin. And basically all I do is I keep my uh, stickle, get it going, and keep my stickle bottle down, and try to keep it to keep the holes out, and, and put it on thick. But to keep the air holes out of it, just keep your applicator inside the uh, stickles as you do it. In other words, just, you know, don't go off by itself. Uh, make sure I get in those little cracks and corners and just push. When it comes to cracks and corners, just push the, using your applicator, just push your stickles that you've already got on there up into the crack. You don't want to squeeze more in there. So we've got an orange face with a... It. And these are things that kids can do if you have an older child who can do that. Or they can just stickle the whole top of it. Mix and match some colors, some orange and yellows and blacks. So that's um, number two. And what I'm going to do now is, I'm, I'll do the black one in a minute because I think I'm going to, the spider in a minute because I think I'm going to pull the yellow down. But what I'd like to do is take my one inch Fiskars squeeze punch. It's the medium round around. Okay. And I think I just need some nice shimmery paper that's Halloween. So I'm going to pop out a couple of those. All right. We're doing good. And then I'm just going to take a little glossy accent from Ranger. And when you do this, you don't need to cover the whole thing. Just put a little little dab, like so. Like that. And what you do is you put your paper down there and just sort of rub it around, like so. And what happens is you'll start feeling it get thick very quickly. Put it over your spot. I'm going to shake it up now. See? It's not going anywhere. 